Have you ever had one of those moments when you do something and instantly regret it? That's exactly what happened to this girl. But in her case, this bad decision had very serious consequences. Tessica Brown went viral in February 2021 after she sprayed Gorilla Glue on her hair because she didn't have any hairspray left. After a series of failed attempts to get rid of the glue on her scalp, Tessica's situation ended up escalating, to the extent that she had to get surgery to fix it. But this is not the end of the story. From the minute she sprayed her hair to today, many things have happened, including a seemingly scammy GoFundMe campaign, a few copycats that also sprayed Gorilla Glue on their heads, and even some Gorilla Glue Girl merch. Do you want to know the whole story of Tessica Brown? Keep watching! It all happened on February 3rd, 2021, when Tessica shared a TikTok explaining her situation. When I do my hair, I like to, you know, finish it off with the little got to be glue spray. You know, just to keep it in place. Well, I didn't have any more got to be glue spray, so I used this. Gorilla glue spray. Bad, bad, bad idea. Tessica is right. It was a bad idea. Do you know what Gorilla Glue is? Gorilla Glue is an industrial adhesive that is extremely powerful. It can be used to glue wood, stone, metal ceramics, glass, and even concrete. So now you get an idea of what poor Tessica was dealing with. By the time Tessica posted her first viral TikTok, her hair had already been completely glued to her scalp for a month, and she had washed it out many times with no results. Tessica's hair looked rock hard against her scalp. Her long ponytail was hanging from her head, and it looked extremely painful. In a follow-up video, Tesca showed the extent of her problem by trying to rub the hair conditioner on her head, but she couldn't get it to go through the glue to touch her scalp. Gorilla Glue is water resistant and heat resistant, so can you imagine how hard it is to get rid of it? By February 6th, Tessica finally decided to go to the emergency room to try to get some help. The hospital staff tried rubbing acetone on her head to try to remove the glue, but it proved to be extremely time consuming. Tessica eventually just asked them to give her the material so she could do it at home. Once she was at home, Tessica filmed a video of one of her friends applying the products that they had been given at the hospital, but it was burning Tesca's scalp so much that she almost couldn't endure the pain. On February 7th, after realizing that this problem wouldn't have an easy solution, Tesca set up a GoFundMe campaign. She was initially asking for $1,500 to cover her medical expenses, but she ended up gathering over $23,000. On February 9th, Tesca's friend used super glue remover on her hair and finally managed to soften it up enough to cut off her ponytail. But as much as it was a huge relief, the glue in Tesca's scalp still wasn't lifting. At this point, Tesca was getting so much media attention that she just couldn't handle all the messages, DMs, and calls. Her phone was constantly ringing and buzzing. That's when she got a call from Gina Rodriguez. Gina is the CEO of an agency that represents viral celebrities, and she told Tessica that she could put her in touch with a doctor from Beverly Hills who could perform surgery on her and finally dissolve the glue. Gina then told Tessica that she could be in charge of her travel, calls, and messages, and so she became her new manager. After Gina made the arrangements, Tessica flew out to meet Dr. Obeng, who actually said he would do the surgery for free. The procedure was performed on February 10th, and it was all documented by TMZ. One day after the surgery, Tessica's hair and scalp was finally glue-free. Hallelujah. To perform the procedure, Dr. Oben created a substance made of acetone, aloe vera, olive oil, and an ingredient called MGD. Before getting his hands on Tessica's hair, the doctor tried the substance on a dummy with real human hair. Once he had tested it, he performed the surgery on Tessica. It took four hours. As you can imagine, Tessica was incredibly happy once she woke up without glue on her scalp. She was no longer in pain, and she could finally run her fingers through her hair. Before before sending her home, the doctor instructed Tesca not to use any products on her hair apart from the ones he gave her. People were happy that Tesca had finally gotten better, but now everyone had a question. What about all the money she had gathered on the GoFundMe campaign? When she first set it up, she clarified that she would use the funds in trying to solve her problems, but Dr. Obeng had performed the surgery for free. Many people started wondering whether the whole situation had just been a scam by Tesca to make money. Others were saying that the GoFundMe campaign was fraudulent, which prompted an investigation on the platform. So Tesca's GoFundMe page started being investigated, and she said that the platform was preventing her from withdrawing the funds. But according to Tessica, she would not keep the funds. She had decided to donate $20,000 to Dr. Obeng's company. The remaining $3,000 would go to three families in St. Bernard Parish. These are people that Tessica knows personally, and apparently they're struggling with money. Now, if you go to Tessica's Instagram page, you can see in her story highlights some pictures of her donating the money to those families. Tessica had solved her hair problem, and she had also decided what to do with all the money that people had donated to her. This, however, however, was not the end of her story. 
Now that Tessica has a manager, had gone viral, and everyone knew her face, she took the next logical step in her career, releasing merch. Tessica created a series of t-shirts with her photo on them and a text that says, Bonded for Life. You can check them out at www.tessicamerch.com. But after she released the merch, people started coming at her once more. Those who were initially supportive of Tessica were growing suspicious that everything she did, she did for clout. But Tessica had addressed the situation several times. According to her, she never did anything for attention. Some people out there saying, oh well, she did this for cult. I would have never, never. Jessica said the only reason why she went to post her problem on social media in the first place was because she desperately needed help. She never expected to go viral, but she did. Unfortunately, her situation prompted the creation of a dangerous internet hashtag, Gorilla Glue Challenge. Most of the people who used this hashtag were trolls making fun of Jessica with wigs and others who took the audio of her TikTok and turned it into songs. But there are some people who actually sprayed glue on their heads themselves, just as Jessica did. Yeah, you heard that right. The most famous of Tessica's copycats is TikToker Avani Reyes. On February 13th, Avani uploaded a TikTok showing her stiff hair after she had sprayed glue on it. Guys, my hair will not comb. Avani then posted a series of follow-up TikToks where she went to the ER, but according to her, nobody there did anything to help. They just told her to rub some coconut oil or olive oil on herself. Then Avani said that she might set up a GoFundMe campaign so people would help her and that she might get surgery. On February 14th, Avani still had glue on her hair. People had no idea why she had done that to herself, but according to her, it was an accident. This was an accident. I didn't mean to put Gorilla Glue in my hair. In a follow-up TikTok, Avani claimed to have received a donation of $3,000 in her GoFundMe campaign. Everyone was calling her a scammer, but it turned out to be false. Ivani revealed that she had never set up a campaign and that it had all been a joke. Not the hair, though. It really did have glue. But by February 18th, she had already been able to get rid of it with a coconut oil-based product. As you can imagine, people were not very sympathetic of her. Shortly after, a man called Len Martin claimed that Tessica was faking the effects of the Gorilla Glue. So he decided to glue a red cup to his lip. He then claimed that he had to go to the ER to have it removed. However, this also turned out to be a joke, and the man had only pretended to glue the cup to his face. Then he visited the hospital because he had an arm injury, and when he was there, he took the chance to pose with the cup as if it was glued to his lip. Man, people can get very creative when they want attention. So what happened to Tessica after the incident? Well, now that she has a manager, Tessica decided to get a mommy makeover, which involves liposuction and a chest enhancement. She went to her good old friend, Dr. Obeng, for a consultation. However, while he was examining her, Dr. Obeng found lumps on both sides of Tessica's chest. They quickly ran some tests on her, and luckily, the lumps turned out to be non-cancerous. There was, however, another surprise coming her way. On March 27, 2021, Tessica went on her Instagram page to announce that she's pregnant with her sixth child. Her other five kids come from another relationship, but this baby is the first one she's having with her fiancé, DeWitt Madison. DeWitt himself has four kids from another relationship, so it looks like their house at Christmas will be lively with ten kids running around, which is a hazard. So hopefully they'll keep the cleaning cupboards locked and all the adhesive material far away. As you may imagine, the reaction to Tessica's problem ranged from empathy and compassion to incredulity and outrage. What a roller coaster. Even if Tessica may not be the greatest hair consultant, she is definitely quite an entertainer. For me, the most surprising thing about the situation is how everyone involved found a chance to make money out of it. Tessica made t-shirts with pictures of her face, Gina found a new celebrity to represent, copycats were willing to put super glue on their bodies for clout. Even Dr. Obeng is seriously considering selling the products he invented to get rid of the glue on Tessica's hair. But seriously. Tessica had been getting very brutal comments and a lot of online hate, which is very unfair because she's the one who suffered the most in this situation. So take this as a gentle reminder not to be mean to anyone online, because you never know how your comments can affect people. What do you think about Tessica's journey? Have you ever done something to your hair that you instantly regretted? Let me know in the comments.